हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अरविंद कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ज्योग्राफी पटना वुमेंस कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ऑन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ जियोमॉर्फोलॉजी दैट इज आइसोस्टेसी देर इज ए क्वेश्चन इन द माइंड ऑफ पीपल दैट हाउ द अपस्टैंडिंग पार्ट लाइक माउंटेन्स प्लेटूज प्लेन्स एंड ओशंस बेसिंस आर इन इक्वेरियम ऑन दिस रोटेटिंग अर्थ आइसोस्टेसी सिंपली मीन्स mechanical stability between the up standing parts and low lying basins on a rotating earth the word isostasis is derived from a german word isostasis which means the equipoise or in the state of equilibrium the concept evolved because of the discrepancies absorbed in the gravitational force of the massive mountains on the earth the mountains were not exerting the gravitational pull as we know that the materials with huge mass and density exerts more gravitational pull pierre bogor was the first person who experienced such differential gravitational force on the andes mountains while he was doing the survey of chimborazo mountains in the year 1735 such anomaly was also observed during the survey of indo gangetic plain conducted in the mid 19th century under the supervision of sir george mount everest on whose name mount everest is named the survey was conducted for calculating the latitudinal difference between the two places that is kalyana and kalyanpur kalyana was near the foothills of himalaya mountains and kalyanpur was 603 kilometers apart from the kalyana in the south survey was done using the two methods that is astronomical method and the triangulation method and there was differences in the values obtained through both the methods and this difference was of 5.23 seconds the difference in the value was attributed due to gravitational force of the himalayas that could have deflected the plumb of while surveying later when the gravitational pull of the himalaya was computed it showed discrepancies between the actual observed gravitational pull himalayas were exacting three times less gravitational pull considering its mass and density this anomaly question the density of the himalayas let's now see what is isostasis let's see its concept isostasis is the rising or settling of a portion of the earth's lithosphere that occurs when weight is removed or added in order to maintain equilibrium between buoyancy forces that push the lithosphere upward and gravitational forces that pull the lithosphere downward the term was first used by the an american geologist dutton in the year 1889 to determine the state of gravitational equilibrium between the different relief features on the rotating earth this stability or equilibrium has been explained by different geographers like dutton daly jolly airy and pratt but among these the theories given by the airy and pratt are more scientific and they are useful in today's world let's see the concept given by the sir george airy he gave the concept in the year 1855 he said that crust of relatively lighter material is floating in the substratum of denser material or we can say that the continents are made up of lighter material that is cl and which is floating on the denser material sima considering the anomaly in the case of himalayas he put forward that himalayas were not just a surface feature but lighter rocks of the mountains sink into the denser material as a boat in the water his main focus was on the law of flotation as a boat or ice work floats in the water with its one part above the water while the nine part are submerged below it to explain the flotation principle he took example of wooden blocks of different heights and suspended them in water as we can see in the figure by showing this he argued that all the blocks made up of wood have same density but height differed the longest block emerged to the greatest height so he concluded that continents are floating and the highest mountains have the deepest roots inside the earth high rising mountains could be stable only if its larger part is exerted deep into the denser rock below it finally airy postulated that if the land column above the 
substratum is larger, its greater part will be submerged in the substratum. He said that the density of different columns of land remains the same like mountains, plateaus, plateaus have same density from top to bottom. To sum up, he postulated uniform density with varying depth. He was criticized on the ground that roots of the Mount Everest won't be in solid state at such greater depth if we consider the root hypothesis as given by him. Now let's see the concept given by the Archdeacon Pratt. He gave his concept in 1859. Because of anomaly in the expected and actual gravitational deflection by the Himalayas, Pratt studied the rocks and he was of the view that density of each higher part is less than the lower part. Therefore, he said that the rocks of the Himalayan mountain chains should have a lower density than those of plateaus. The rocks of the plateaus will have lower than the rocks of the plains and the rocks of the plains will have the lower density than that of the ocean floor. In birth relationship between height and the relief and density was existed. That is, higher the column, lesser the density and smaller the column, greater the density. Pratt visualized a level inside the earth which there is variation in the density of different columns but below this level the density is uniform. Above the level of compensation the density does not change with one column but it changes from one column to another. His central theme was uniform depth with bearing density. We can say that Pratt view was based on law of compensation rather than law of flotation. Different relief features are standing because their respective mass is equal along the level of compensation because of varying density. To prove his views, blocks of different materials like lead, iron, antimony and zinc were designed in such a way that they have equal weight that because of difference in densities, blocks were allowed to float freely in the mercury and because same weight they stand at uniform depth inside mercury, although their height above the mercury level was different. Similar is the case with the mountains, plateaus, plain and sea floors resting on the substratum. The density of mountains is less than the that of plateaus and the density of plateau is less than that of plain and we can say so on. So let us now see the differences. What are the differences between the views of Aries and Pratt? While Aries was talking about the law of flotation, he also talked about uniform density with varying depth. While Pratt gave the concept of law of compensation and he said that higher the column, lesser the density and smaller the column, greater the density. He also said that uniform depth with varying height. Thank you. Happy learning.